Well, peace, prayer and providing suits. That's what one local church is striving to do with their first Suits on Saints event on Saturday. Joining us this morning in the KSLA Cafe is the co-founder, Paul Pratt, also a member of Mount Canaan Baptist Church and Erica McCain, Executive Director for Dress for Success. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. So you're one of the co-founders who came up with this idea. Yes, ma'am. You know, I've reached into the closet and, and realized that I couldn't wear these suits anymore. And even though they had a sentimental value mm. to me, I felt that it's time to bless somebody else. Yeah, that's always a good uh, feeling, especially if they're too big. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And you can pass it on. You know, people don't realize how expensive suits are. They really are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So we start to think about the economy. Yeah. And we wanted our men to look good in Treeport uh, because I always heard that when you look good, you, you feel, feel good, good. Mm -hmm. and, and you have a lot of confidence. So we wanted to be able to bless others and impact our, our communities. Fantastic. And you guys have had a lot of donations when you put this together. I had to look down at the numbers to try and get all of this right. 260 ties, 220 suits, 116 pants, 205 shirts, 60 plus wow. jackets. Like the list goes on and on. Everybody has shown out to help make this event a, a success. Oh yeah, I, I, I tell you what, we're giving kudos to the community for coming out. Not only Mount Canaan parishioners have come out, but just the community because they wanted to participate. Even today, I received emails and texts wanting to bring suits to our, either my office or to the church. So we'll still take suits up until Saturday. Fantastic. Erica, as Paul said, what impact does it have on someone uh, that has, you know, to go on an interview? When you look good, you feel good, he says. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Dress for Success, that's what we embody with our women. We want them to feel confident as they enter the workforce and prepare yeah. for interviews. So when Paul came to me and he said we need help organizing this suit drive, we were all in because we felt that men in the community need that aspect as well. We equip, we equip them with tools to enter the workforce with suits, as you see behind us, to look confident and feel great. Wonderful. And it's so important, you know, you're setting somebody up for a strong start. First impressions always matter. And so anybody can come up on Saturday and pick up these suits, right? Oh, yeah, income. There's no income requirement or, or status. Just come. If you want a suit, we'll give up to two suits, shirt, ties, uh, any of the accessories that, that will go along with and that. There are some really nice suits. They really are. Yeah, if you look behind us, we yeah. have quite a few. Yeah, this is just an nice. example of uh, some of the suits that we have, and all the suits will be, we'll give uh, plastic bags for storage also. Nice. Mm -hmm. First 40 people get free food? 50. <laughs> oh, uh, for, for okay. The first 50, <laughs> we'll give you a, a meal ticket to receive a, a plate of food to go. Oh, yeah. that's nice. That's nice. So, why is it important for the churches to get involved? and be the village. Well, too often I hear men uh, say that I can't go to church because I don't have right. the proper attire. And what we wanted to do was put that myth aside and provide suits for men, uh, especially those gently used suits. And we have some new suits uh, mm -hmm. from parishioners that just, hey, say I want to bless somebody else. Mm -hmm. And not only uh, for church, but on, to go on a date or right. even a job interview. Mm -hmm. We're going to have professionals like Erica and her group to provide job um, job skill training. Mm -hmm. um, we'll teach people how to tie neckties if they don't know how to do that. So exactly. it's just not collecting suits. We want to meet the entire person okay. uh, so that we can help change report. Really quick, Erica, if, you, if someone can't find a suit, you guys are giving uh, vouchers for Goodwill? Yes, okay. we have um, a few Goodwill vouchers that we provide for men who don't Find a suit, unfortunately, we want everybody to leave with at least mm -hmm. one, but if we can't, we want to provide them with goodwill vouchers so they can go and purchase suits on their own. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, Thank Paul. you. Thank we you, appreciate Erica. your coverage. The Suits on Saints event is this Saturday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Mount Canaan Baptist Church on Austin Street. Again, you can get up to two suits. And uh, remember, free bus fare with Sportran. So get out there and get your suit, two suits, and some free food as well. That's Back right. in a moment.